I'm James, this is Mitch, and we're from GameFly. We have an amazing opportunity for an interview with Daniel Suarez, the Vice President of Production at Activision for Call of Duty Ghosts. This is pretty exciting. Thanks for taking time out today to talk Absolutely. to us about Call of Duty Ghosts. My pleasure. I'm thrilled to talk about Ghosts with you guys. It'll be fantastic. Well, the first question we have that I'd like to ask is, what was the inspiration uh, to the departure of the Modern Warfare series? Sure. Well, I think as we're moving into this sort of next-gen cycle, I think when we finished Modern Warfare 3, Infinity Ward wanted to sort of start new. You know, they wanted a clean slate. And with the next gen cycle coming around, they said, look, how do we want to sort of reimagine everything from the ground up? So for us, it was a new story, a new set of characters, a new sub franchise, and the emphasis on a whole new set of technology. Everything started with what do we do to drive gameplay first? So all the investment that we're doing in the technology and everything that we're doing in terms of the story is really to create this new experience for players as we move into sort of the next gen of what's going on with gaming. What uh, caused the inspiration for the change in storytelling? Because instead of sure. jumping from uh, many different characters, it seems a lot more isolated in, in Ghosts. Sure. So it would have been really easy for us to say, look, let's make Modern Warfare 4. I think if you go on Google, you can look and do searches for Modern Warfare 4, you're going to have a million hits for what that is. I think everybody expected us to do that. But again, we want to do something new. And I think with us doing this new story, it allows us to do a lot of different things that we haven't done in Call of Duty before. So in this go around, it's all about you and your squad. It's really an emphasis on storytelling, an inter emphasis on interaction with you and your characters that are there, and an emphasis on another character we have, which is Riley the dog we've talked about a little bit. We're going to have a new set of way of telling stories, the visuals that we have in terms of the, the characters, the models that you'll have there, with the sort of articulation and the bones that we have in the face. Storytelling is going to push the boundaries where we can move on Call of Duty. In terms of the visuals, I think you guys saw some great demos inside, really sort of pushing the graphic fidelity. I think the technology investments that we've made in terms of sub-D and all the different things that we're doing on the technology front really are going to make the environments be the best of the quality environments we've ever seen. And then in terms of gameplay innovations, we're giving players the ability to do things they've never done in Call of Duty before. I think you saw in one of the demos, this repelling of the building and then the inverted repel, uh, the underwater sort of engagements in warfare, using Riley the dog as a sort of character you can use to manipulate and attack sort of enemies. Really trying to give players things that are new and different than Call of Duty as we're the next gen. The Call of Duty series is no stranger to controllable drone characters where you know you, you take control of a small little drone, you zap guys. Sure. Uh, how does the dog differ from that kind of you know controllable drone character that we're familiar with? Sure. Well, I think there's a lot of different variations in terms of what the dog can do. So Riley has his, it's its own AI. It behaves independently to the player. It actually then alerts players to things that are going on. So if he, something's going on in the environment, he'll growl. He'll alert you to things that are happening. In addition to that, he can engage with enemies freely. He's not always under your control, but there are times where you actually can sync up with your tablet with the dog, and he'll then uh, be under your control and he'll basically be able to interact and engage with enemies as you find them. And for us, that inspiration was uh, drawn out from us talking to a lot of Navy SEAL dog trainers. And we went and met with them. They kind of showed us all the gear that they can use. They have these Kevlar vests that they put on that are bulletproof. They've got this cool, unique camera that goes on the back of it. You can actually see what they see. And through commands, through voice, and then through motor skills, that are motors that are built into the actual vest, they actually do uh, respond to commands that you give them to them. So that really inspired the designers in Infinity War to say, wow, we can leverage this in a whole new way in terms of gameplay and really sort of create this sort of character that you have a connection with throughout the story, but also manipulate him within the environment. Can you give us the names of the two main characters in Call of Duty Ghosts? Well, we're still working on the character names, so I can't divulge what those are yet. But maybe if you listen in on the video, on the video playbacks, you may be able to pick it up. Oh, we just broke something. We broke it. Just listen back. You heard it here first. Current Gen is coming out in November. Next Gen will uh, announce when those Next Gen systems are released. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. Call of Duty Ghost, guys.